In this video, I want to talk about what is a MIDI keyboard, how does a MIDI keyboard operate, and is the Oxygen Pro right for you? Okay, so the first thing for you to understand is that a MIDI keyboard has no sounds in it by itself. This is really confusing when you're first starting because you might get tricked into thinking that, that you need a $700 MIDI keyboard, but I want to tell you that a $100 MIDI keyboard to a $700 MIDI keyboard, you're going to get the same experience because what happens is we play our notes inside of our music program. So for example, I've loaded up FL Keys here, one of my favorite piano plugins. And so what happens is the sounds are not in the keyboard. The sounds are inside your music program. And we are playing the sounds in the music program. The keyboard, the MIDI keyboard is just a controller. Okay, so watch, I've had a note. So it's very important for you to understand that a MIDI keyboard sends two things into your music program. First, is it sends what type of note? Is it, a C, is it C5? Is it D5? Okay, and you, and you can see that in the, in the top left here. So C5, okay, F5. So it sends what note? The next important, and this is very, very important. This is what makes a MIDI keyboard worth it, is it sends the velocity data, okay? So if you were like me when you first started, you may be using your typing keyboard as a keyboard. So you can see down here, Q, uh, W, E, R, T, Y, so QWERTY. Those are like your main keys when you're uh, using a typing keyboard as your keyboard inside of FL Studio. But the only problem is, if again, if you look on the top left, I'm just going to hit Q here. It sends a fixed velocity. So it's a fixed velocity of 100 in this case. Go to the next note. You can see it's all at 100, and that gives no life to your music. It makes your music sound really like computer music, like digital music. And so even if you have a $100 MIDI keyboard, you're still going to be able to play your different notes, but you're going to get different velocity. Okay, and so that's the first thing to understand is that it doesn't matter the price. A MIDI keyboard has no sounds in it or using the sounds inside your music program. Again, I loaded up FL keys there, but there's tons of different, and, and these are called virtual instruments. There's tons of different ones. So we are playing the sounds inside the music program. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about is what do I look for in a MIDI keyboard, okay? So I like a 49 key MIDI keyboard. I also like semi-weighted keys. And the problem is not many manufacturers make a MIDI keyboard with semi-weighted keys in a 49 key model. Okay, so you can buy MIDI keyboards in like a mini, you can buy them in a 25 key, you can buy them in a 49 key, you can buy them in a 61 key, and then I believe an 88 key. So I personally think that anything under a 49 key is not worth it, unless maybe like you're doing like traveling or mobile or something like that. But if you really want a good experience, I like a 49 key. I know a lot of you guys like the 61 key, but they are big. All right, even a 49 key I do think is also big. This keyboard right here. I have a pretty big desk and it takes up more than half my desk. And so semi-weighted keys, they're not as good as like real piano keys, but they're a lot better than non-semi-weighted keys, okay? So when we're buying a cheap $100 MIDI keyboard, you know, once you go up to let's say like that $300 MIDI keyboard, it's like, what are you getting? Okay, so if you're getting semi-weighted keys, the keys just feel a little bit better, okay? Uh, but in terms of like, functionality not too much more uh sometimes you know now you might get drum pads you might get the sliders you might get the knobs but for how i use this midi keyboard in fl studio i mainly just use my keys and these transport buttons okay but i'll quickly just go back to the keys all right so for a, for a 49 key semi-weighted there's not too many manufacturers uh, I did a review on the Native Instruments Complete Control A series. Um, I do like the Oxygen Pro more. I think that the you know it's not too much more money and it's more jam packed, and I just like the workflow better in FL Studio. There's one also by Arturia. You guys can look up, but that one is pricey. I think it's maybe six seven hundred dollars. And like I'm saying, like when. If there's no sounds inside the keyboard, it's like, what are you really paying for more than the Oxygen Pro? 
So I think the Oxygen Pro is a nice sweet spot. So if you've already purchased this, you guys are, you know, I think you made a good decision because this is my personal MIDI keyboard that I use and I recommend to you guys. Again, it just requires a free MIDI script to get the transport buttons working. And then there's that little premium add-on that gets the sliders and knobs uh, working a little bit better if you switch to the, the banks. But the add-on is not necessary. It just gives you a little bit better experience. But the free MIDI script gets this thing up and running great okay so let's just do a quick recap because it's very very important for you to understand how a midi keyboard works because it's very confusing when you're first getting started okay a midi keyboard has no sounds in it when you press a note it sends uh the actual note value so is it a c5 is it a d5 to the midi uh, to your music program through midi all right so midi is so powerful you're, you're going to learn that when we make beats inside of FL Studio, everything is MIDI. Everything from, uh, like, you know, our notes and like the piano roll, if we click them in, you can easily like adjust your notes. So this is all MIDI to even clicking in your one shot drum samples. Like this is a hi hat, have a kick drum, have uh, some claps, I think, down here. Okay, so this is all MIDI. Um, very, very, very powerful. Okay, so when we are in our music program, if we hit a note, it sends the note and it also sends the velocity. This allows us to get that human flavor. Now, if you're getting started, using a keyboard like this is very, very powerful, okay? It makes it a lot easier than uh, just clicking in notes. You can just click this right here. In FL Studio, always look in the top left. It's always gonna give you uh, information. So typing keyboard to piano, keyboard. So again, the downside to using a typing keyboard is this, it, it's just fixed velocities. And chords are quite hard on a typing keyboard. Once you go into any MIDI keyboard, even if it's a cheap $100 MIDI keyboard, you're able to, right? Very, very easy once you understand what's going on. And then again, you're able to get your velocities. That allows for a much more human sound to your music, much more emotion. Okay, so our MIDI keyboard has no sounds in it. We load up virtual instruments like this and we would hit record and you'd hit play and you can record your notes. Um, so semi-weighted keys, 49 key, uh, and I like nice transport buttons with the loop button. And the loop button, I like it to switch between song and pattern mode. Again, the free MIDI script on the Oxygen Pro does that. It's free to download and it's just a quick one-time install on your computer and you're good to go. Um, now you might be a little bit deceived into thinking that you need the knobs and the sliders and all that kind of stuff and the drum pads. So I just want you guys to know that if I hit, let's just hop back to FL Studio because if you're following along, look in the top left. So my question to you, is there any difference between this drum pad to this key? So there's no difference between the keys to your drum pads. So if you are thinking, oh, the drum pads are going to allow me to really uh, bang out some awesome drum loops, the keys can do the same thing for you, right? You just play them like this. So that's one thing just to get your head wrapped around that even though this MIDI keyboard comes with drum pads, I think they're kind of gimmicky on a MIDI keyboard. The knobs and sliders are cool, they're powerful, but I really don't use them too much because once you really learn how to use FL Studio, like I always tell you guys, uh, and you guys can learn more about that in my free book, it's called Five Keys to a Successful Beat. You guys can sign up at itsgratuitous.com forward slash five keys. And what I tell you in that book is inside of FL Studio, the easiest way to do things is with, is with your mouse. Okay, when it comes to creating your automation clips, when it comes to creating your different patterns, building out your playlist. Okay, this is like your arrangement. If you're kind of new to FL Studio, um, you can start arranging out your tracks. Your mouse is always the easiest way in FL Studio. Um, there are some benefits to using knobs and sliders if you use them in the right way and in a way that benefit you. But for the most part, it's just more fun. But the mouse is always going to allow you to get the most, uh, uh, like the fastest workflow, the most accurate workflow. Okay, so MIDI keyboard has no sounds in it by itself. We play the sounds inside our music program. I like a 49 key MIDI keyboard. That's my recommendation to you. You guys can get the 61 
Anything lower than a 49, I don't think is... You're not going to really be able to play with two hands nicely. But I like a 49 key. And in all my years of playing the piano and beat making and stuff like that, I've really, really liked the 49 key. Again, we on the side here, you can't see them, but we have our octave buttons, which allow you to go up and down. And it's also important for you to know how do we make beats, okay? So, like, what does that mean? So, when we make a beat, usually, you know, maybe our first melody is with two hands. But once we start adding more instruments on, okay, so if we have, like, the the piano here, maybe we open up a different instrument, okay? So, let's just load up, like, let's say... um we'll go citrus we'll just keep it all fl studio plugins so now we have a different instrument so usually what happens is let's say our first instrument was with two hands we played with two hands we recorded a melody such as like uh this one right so so now usually we're just playing with like one hand and we're trying to find a little melody over top of that and so once you understand that if you're coming and looking at a keyboard and you're thinking, oh, I need a 61 key. If we're only using one hand for most of our melodies, then we can easily use our octave keys to go up or down. So for example. So this is up high, right? I'm gonna go down in a couple octaves. I will go to uh, the piano. That's kind of how we make beats. And if you're new to this, you have a lot to learn, but maybe your first melody is with two hands. Your next melody is probably going to be with one hand. It's just, it's just a lot easier to work with. You're not going to have to really clash too much with the chord progression. You're just trying to find a melody. So all I'm trying to say is a 61 key is more expensive. A 61 key is bigger. Um, and a 49 key does the same thing a 61 key does. It's not like you're getting anything more except more keys you're getting a bigger keyboard a 49 key is a nice sweet spot again not many manufacturers make a 49 key with semi-weighted keys the oxygen pro has it and so you're going to get a great experience and that's what i always try to get across to you guys okay so i hope that gives you guys an overview of a midi keyboard and why i like the oxygen pro and uh, you know you, you can figure out is it going to be the right midi keyboard for you I really do suggest semi-weighted keys. It really does make the experience a lot better. Now for myself, I like playing on a real piano and a real piano, you know, the real piano's keys are really, really nice. Then you come to a, a MIDI keyboard with semi-weighted keys and it's just not as nice as like the real piano, but it's a lot nicer than non-semi-weighted keys, all right? If, you get, if you're gonna get a MIDI keyboard with just a, you know, your basic MIDI keyboard, the keys feel cheap, they're really springy and it, I just feel it lacks that emotion. Once you go to the semi-weighted, it really does give a nicer experience. And the Oxygen Pro semi-weighted keys are quite nice. I do like them. Um, yeah, overall, I've been really happy with the Oxygen Pro. So again, I hope you guys enjoy if you have it. Uh, there's the free MIDI script, which I'll show you how to install here soon. And then there's the premium little add-on, which you don't need. just gives you a little bit better experience.